Hello everyone, and this is Cindy Mom. Um, welcome back. <laughs> um, I have been all over the place, mentally, emotionally, physically. Um, so I'm just going to play some Sims 2 today. And I wanted to introduce you to my custom neighborhood that I've created, and I'm going to begin playing it. I've actually already began playing some, but I thought I would bring you along. Um, this could turn into a series. It could not. It just honestly depends on a lot of things, like if you guys enjoy it, um, if I have the time to record whenever I play, and all that. So, anyway, this is um, the town of Honeywood, and Honeywood is a small town. Um, it's been around for a while, but it is a new, or it is a small town with new residents, and you'll see we've got different kind of districts set up, and I'll walk you through kind of just a layout really quick of where everything is. I did build a lot of these lots, um, but not all of them. So I'll tell you which ones I built and which ones I downloaded. Um, if we come over here, I'm imagining that the Sims are coming from the city across this bridge to this town. So <clears throat> the city is um, over here across the water. And this is kind of like the outskirts. It's just a small town outside of the city. And over here, when you first come in, we have um, a motel and a nightclub. Um, this is kind of like outskirts of the city, a little more rundown area. Um, but we have those. And then as you come down the main strip here, the main street, we have the public park where a lot of events will take place in the town. We have the public library. We have a retirement home, which no one lives here currently, but as the Sims become elders, um, they will move in here if they are an elder that is a widow or living alone, they will move in here. And <clears throat> this is a grocery store, Fresh Mart. I did build the grocery store, I built the park, I built the library, and I built the nightclub. Um, then we have Lucky's Card Shack. This one I built myself. And then we have the Honeywood Simplest Church, which I also built, and I put a video up here on the channel. So they will come here on Sundays to meet and gather for some church. Um, then we have the New Life Career Services. This one I did not build. This one's from Pleasant Sims, and I just changed the name of it. Um, we have the Hive Diner, which I also downloaded and changed the name of. Here is an apartment building complex, which I did build myself, and we have three Sims living here. We have, I can't remember their names, oh, Graham Hewlett, who is a romance Sim. <clears throat> we have Lila Harold, who is a family Sim. And we have James Cooper, who is a pleasure Sim. Now, I have not... Um, fleshed out their bios yet. I was kind of waiting to play with them a little bit to get to know them a little bit better and then I'm going to give them a bio. Now this little area is like full of these lower um, lower priced houses. So we have, I did play with these three families already just for one day. So we have Alexis Brandt. She is a family sim and she dreams of having a big family. Um, she adopted a cat forest on her first day that I played with her. We have Lucas Smith. Um, Lucas is bisexual and he is very shy. Um, I have not fleshed out his full bio yet. And then we have Jacob Freeman. Um, Jacob is actually gay and he wants to be, so I do get his bio, he wants to be a successful businessman, but even though he has an outgoing personality, he isn't always the nicest or most caring towards others. Um, will he find a partner to balance him out or will he live the bachelor life forever? So he actually wants to own a lot of businesses. Um, so we will see where that takes him into the town of Honeywood. And like I said, he is gay, but he doesn't have any love interests. And then on this main street, this is literally called Main Street, we have the Pet Palace, Totter Toys, Midtown Park. Um, these are all downloaded. Tech Zone, I downloaded. Honeywood Grill and Pub, I downloaded. 
And then this Rosewood, this is actually a base game build that I just plopped down. Um, Jenny Rosewood lives at the Sweet Honey Bed and Breakfast. So she is a popularity fan, and I think she is gay as well. Um, but she is going to be running a bed and breakfast. And so she's kind of inherited this old building, this old home that she's going to turn into a bed and breakfast and it's going to be a process. So I'm really excited to play through her. Then we have these townhomes, which are very fancy. I did build these and we have one sim living here, Perkins. Um, Olivia Perkins, she is a fortune sim. I have not gotten to play with her yet, so I'm not sure what her story is going to be. To be. And then here we have some more um, affordable homes, but more than more than a starter. And I did place down the Ben family, the Gavigans. So I wanted at least one little family to start with. We have a Mary, Nathan, and Isaiah. Uprooting and moving to a new town was something that Nathan had always wanted to do. Mary loves him dearly and would follow him to the ends of the earth. Where will they end up? Will they be able to find happiness in a new location? So they're new to the town. And then on this strip is where we will have the more expensive homes that face the water. I have three here. I did not build any of these homes, um, but I did place them. So we have them available as soon become a little more successful. So that's a little rundown of the town and I'm super excited to play here. Like I said, I've just kind of started with developing the town and there's room to expand as we go. So we're gonna jump in and we are gonna be playing rotationally. We're gonna play one season at a time. And like I said, I already played these three over here just for one day because it is the uh, first day of their rotation um, is summer and then it turns to fall. So then that's when we will kind of stop. So it's like just a little introduction to everybody. So <clears throat> I think we're going to head over to these apartment units next. So here we are with Jenny. I actually decided to play with Jenny, who owns the bed and breakfast, because I'm so excited about this. I just want to get started. And <clears throat> Jenny um, is interesting. She is gay. She is a popularity sim. She has the want to become a media magnate, but I think that maybe her lifetime wish was always to go into journalism. Um, but then... Her family left her this this home and or this this bed and breakfast and so now she's kind of stuck with this and she needs money she doesn't have any money um, I want to say you know she's come from the city where she was wanting to become a journalist um, to now take over this bed and breakfast and she's not exactly happy about it um, she her personality is very outgoing and active so she you know loves to be around people and loves to work out and be active and do things like that but she's not always the nicest or the most playful sim um so she probably was like very into um the journalism career and very into you know interviewing people and becoming you know that but now she's here in honeywood opening this bed and breakfast <laughs> to try to make it work so she doesn't disappoint her family. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how she does and how this plays out for her. So the building itself is uh, very empty, very run down, and needs a lot of work. Um, but she kind of has the basic essentials to get started. She has a mini fridge and a stove, so she can cook some food. She has a bathroom and a bed for someone to stay, and she has her own bedroom. But she did for she did give up her um, bathtub for extra cash, so that she could afford the basic necessities to have her business. So that's interesting. It looks like she has made a couple of met a couple of sims around town. She's met Jacob. 
she's met Gooby and she has met Mary. Um, so she does have a couple of friends or a couple of acquaintances. She wants to be friends with Jacob. So that's exciting. And she wants to get a pet. So I'm not sure about that, if we will do that. Um, so, oh, can we not use? the mini fridge to make food oh no well we're gonna have to get a fridge but first we need to open our business so I guess the first thing we need to do is to register our home business and in order to do that I believe we need a phone and like I said we are very very low on funds right now so this is going to be interesting. That one's 60, and that one, I mean, we'll get this one. We will see how this goes. So let's start a home business. We will open the bed and breakfast as it is, simply because we desperately need money. And I guess we, can, we can't really cook them food right now, so I don't know what the people are going to do that come here. But we're going to start charging them, and let's set a price. Since we don't really have a lot going on right now, honestly, we're probably going to need to start cheap. And $3 an hour, so if someone stays for 24 hours, um, 3 times 24, forgive me if I can't do math in my head right now, but that seems reasonable for a day at a bed and breakfast. Looks like Sandy is here, so we can talk to her. I do have all of the, like, original townies in this. I decided to let that happen. Um, I do have some, I could have, you know, gotten a clean template to not have any townies. But I decided we would go ahead and let them be here. Because this town is supposed to be established and, you know, have been here for a while. These are just some new residents that have moved in. Oh, and there's Jacob. He wants to be, or we want to be his friend. And it looks like he wants to come check out the bed and breakfast. And I guess we will need to make them some food. We could make them some lunch meat sandwiches. Because that's about all we can make. So hopefully Jacob will stick around. Like I said, he is also gay, and he is um, wanting to own some businesses. So I'm not sure what he will end up owning, but we will see what his interests are. Oh, and we've got some visitors here. I do think we need an open and close sign at some point because... While I think that, you know, a bed and breakfast would technically be open all the time, I don't really necessarily want her to have guests here all the time. So what I may do is have her be open for 24 hours and then close for a short period of time to kind of clean and tidy up and get prepared for the next round of guests. So it looks like we've got Sandy. She has made a purchase and then she's leaving because I guess I just don't have enough. Or no, she's going to go talk to Jacob. Okay. Well, we got lots of people out here, but they need to come in. Oh no, these are the people that are just coming to meet me. Okay. Well, this is our neighbor, Nathan Gavigan. Um, we can just greet everyone. Once we're able to expand this bed and breakfast, I think we can make it a really fun place for people. And we will need to add on and make it larger. Um, but for now, this is just going to have to do. <clears throat> so we've, in, we've met everybody, or we've greeted everyone. Now we need to try to get some more people to come in and stay at the bed and breakfast, I guess bed and lunch, they need to come eat some sandwiches that I made. Here we have Matthew Smith, which looks like he's looking at 
this, but he's not... Oh, he's not actually interested in buying anything. We will just clean up a little bit, and it looks like Sandy might be leaving. So, the goal is to get them to stay here for, you know, periods of time. But, honestly, until we make some more money, there's not a whole lot we can do other than feed them. And he is not feeling my sales tactics. Yeah. He's not into it. Maybe Kennedy Cox. Well, be interested in checking out this. We could also, you know, expand the bed and breakfast to have a little restaurant area at some point. Mm -hmm. Come on, Kennedy. Not yet. She's going to go hop in the shower while these gentlemen decide if they're going to hang out or not. <laughs> okay, so I was playing and um, we had someone come and say that they had a friend that, that we might be interested in and wanted to know if they wanted us to, to set us up and... I said, sure, and this lady dropped out of thin air. Vin Shibata. Um, so I have no idea who she is, but she... Oh, and now we're on a date. Okay. Um, well, this is interesting. Entertain, talk. Are we going to make her pay? Oh, this is funny. She literally just dropped out of nowhere. And I have no idea... Oh, and we're friends already, too? This is so interesting. <laughs> I had no idea this was going to happen. So we're going to see um, what this is about. She just said she thought we might get along. So, you know, maybe, maybe we will. Um, she's a knowledge sim, it looks like. She wants to talk, be tickled, and have a pillow fight. Um, we can do some of these things, but I still don't know if we're really attracted to her. Oh, we want to be best friends with her. Maybe we can try a little flirt. Dance, have pillow fight, play. These two are out here just enjoying the nature aspect of the bed and breakfast. Um... Like I said, we probably need to, oh, I'm going to need to clean up, but we need to get a open and close sign at some point. Oh, she's not enjoying this conversation. That did not go well. I don't know why she thought we would be a good match. But let's see. <clears throat> I guess, um, well, that went well, so that's good. Oh, this is going, okay, this is going a little bit better. Oh, okay, the date's over. Um, wow, well, I've had better dates, but that was totally awful. Oh, no! Maybe we can go out again, but I hope it's better. Oh, gosh. So, I don't anticipate us getting any loyalty stars until there's more here for the Sims to do. Um, feeding them is probably not going to be enough. We're going to need to be able to entertain them as well. But we're not going to be able to do that until we have more money. <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to actually go ahead and serve up some instant meals. and try to feed some people. Oh, Sandy's back. Sandy, did you have to just go run some errands and come back for the night? We only have one bed here, and I don't know if they'll actually sleep in it, but 
it's all for fun games. <laughs> we'll see. We're gonna serve up some instant meals for everybody. We can bring it out here to the table. I know it's not a lot, guys, but we're doing the best we can. Sandy might not even need us to pitch a sale to her. She might just buy a ticket anyway. Oh, yep. Now, I don't know if these other people are still paying. I hope they are. Okay, they are. My money is going up. <clears throat> so let's try to talk to Sandy and see if we can... Oh, nope, she did not like that. Um, is there anything we can do to get her some stars? Maybe we could play Kiki Bag for a minute? So, should I walk in and be friends with Jacob, or best friends with Ben, or Bronze Sales Talent Badge? Honestly, I'm not really sure. I think I might just go ahead and leave Jacob, because he is a sim that we made. Oh, and here's James Cooper. He's also someone I made that we'll be playing. I don't remember his story. Um, but I know that I made him. <laughs> so he's going to join us at the bed and breakfast for a little while. Let's go grab another instant meal. So it's getting late, and I did, um, oh, she's out here playing um, football with Tiffany, <laughs> one of our guests. Um, but she found out that her one true hobby is sports, which I felt like that was coming because she is such an active sim. And we could incorporate sports into this place a little bit for her because if she's going to be staying here, she should at least enjoy her time. So let's try to get one more, um, before we head to bed. And honestly, I'll probably just leave the place open throughout the night and see how it goes so we can continue earning money um i've never done that before but we'll see we've got some food out here for everybody so if people come and go throughout the night that's fine we're going to just kind of see how it goes and um head to bed so we will see how this night pans out Okay, it's 6 a.m. the next morning, and we did let the door stay open um, all night, and it was basically a revolving door. It was very interesting <laughs> to see, um, but it is fall, so we're going to end her play here. Um, we didn't make much money last night, to be honest, so, but I do want to see if we can afford the open and close sign, because... I think it would be good to close for a little bit just to see if we could clean things up a bit, although we're not really, um, there's not really much of a mess right now to clean up. For some reason I can't find the open and close sign. Oh, there it is. Oh, we can't afford it. Oh, it's not that much at all. Okay, perfect. Um, we will put this right here. If I can get to it, we'll see if I can get to it. And we'll see if we can close, and that way we can clean up all these instant meals just for a little bit and get the place looking better. And then we might think about charging more per hour. Um, simply because I just don't think we're going to get very far with $3 per hour. And, okay, are you able to reach that? You should be able to. Perfect. Okay, she's going to close that. We're going to change our price, and we're going to leave. 
uh, Miss Jenny here for now. And I love that we now kind of understand her a little bit more. We can write her story. I think we will go up to Average says 3, Cheap says 3, Expensive says 4. Oh my gosh. Well, then I guess we'll keep it at cheap. So that way they're more likely to buy. And I guess the only way it's going to go up is if we add more things for them to do. So this could be a slow process unless we start getting stars. We might need to look at some other ways to earn some money. Not sure what those are going to be. Um, so yes. <laughs> this is where we are and I'm excited so thanks for joining me with this first episode let me know what you think and um we may do more so yeah hope you guys have a great day